YouTube, what's good, y'all? Look, if you know me, you know I absolutely love Wix. I've been using it exclusively for the past eight years to build websites for my clients, and I've been using an OG editor. But Wix recently launched their Wix Studio web creation platform that's built specifically for us designers, whether you're a freelancer or an agency. So it has a ton of more advanced features. It gives us a lot more control, but it's still user-friendly. So I'm kicking off a series of videos on Wix Studio. So let's dive into five features that make Wix Studio a real game changer. So first up, we've got gradient backgrounds. It's a really easy way to make your sections pop without having to use an image or a video background. So now I'm gonna show you how to create a gradient background real quick. So I'm gonna click create new site. We can start from a blank canvas from here, but I'm gonna show you the templates real quick. So there are a ton of really dope templates to choose from. What I really like are these wireframes. Of course, you can filter them as well. So these give you a really good starting point. But I'm going to come up here and just click blank canvas. So I made up a company for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to swap out this logo for the logo of the company that I made up. Resize this box and then move it into the header. So now in this section right here, I'll just click it and then the inspector, I'll click color and then gradient. So you're able to choose from a linear gradient, radial, and conic and you can also select this fluid gradient where you can choose four or more colors but I'll go back to the regular gradient and I'll click linear you can also change the angle and the opacity and there's some gradients down here that have already been saved all right so I have a gradient that I want to set up with three colors so I'll come up here and go to linear I think the angle is fine a 50 degree angle works just fine we have two colors so far I'm going to drag this all the way to the right then drag this all the way to the left and I'm going to add one in the middle so as you can see we have three different colors so for this first color on the left I'm going to click this click this shade of blue here click add and I'm going to paste in my first shade so then I'll click this middle one, do the same thing, hit add, and then paste in my second shade. Now I'll add in my third shade. So this is looking pretty good, but I want the blue in the corner to be kind of subtle. So I'll actually drag this pinkish shade down a bit. Now I actually adjust this to 45 degrees. So that looks good. But as you can see, I can adjust the angle any way I see fit. And I could even reverse this. Watch this. So if I wanted to add another section below it, I can change this section color to this shade of blue. So if I was to preview this, you can see how I can have this section with a gradient fading into this section that's solid. Let me go back to edit site. So I'll change this back to white. Click on this section. And change this angle back to about 45 degrees. Boom, there we go. And I can go ahead and save this by clicking this add button right here. So now you'll see I have the gradient saved. All right, now I'm just gonna pin this header so the gradient can extend into the header. So now I'm just gonna quickly build out this section. All right, so I just uploaded a transparent video. I'm gonna add it to the page. I love the transparent videos as well. So Wix Studio includes a ton of transparent videos already. So if you look at the library, you can see different transparent videos. And there are a lot that you can add that'll just make your, your page pop. Of course, you don't wanna overdo it, but these are cool elements just to add some extra visual interest to the page. But I uploaded my own, so let's take a look at it. While we're at it, we may as well publish the site. So boom, now we have our first section done with a beautiful gradient and a transparent video. All right, next up is mouse parallax. It allows you to add some instant depth and interactivity to your site. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly build out the next section so we can add this feature to our site. Boom, I think it's looking good. So as you can see, I added these three hexagons here. So this is what we're gonna animate with the mouse parallax. So I'll click one of the hexagons, then over in the inspector, I'll click animations and effects. So there are a ton of animations and effects. You can have certain entrances, hover states, 
click animations, scroll animations, etc. And I have a separate video detailing these animations that I'll be releasing soon. But what I want to do is come down to where it says mouse effects, then click add. So as you can see, we have tilt 3D, track, track 3D, obscure, blob, airy. There's just so much here, but I'm going to click tilt 3D. You can see a little animation showing exactly what it does. So I'll click this. Then I'll go down to the bottom and click adjust animation. So if I preview it as is, you'll see this is what it does when I hover over this vector with the mouse. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. So I'll take this down to 41 degrees. Velocity, I'll have that as one. And the perspective, I'll leave at 10. Yeah, this looks good. Boom, so this is good. So I'll just do the same thing to the other two hexagons. So if I preview these now, it has this nice subtle hover animation when I hover over it with the mouse. And you can tweak this as you see fit. So that's mouse parallax. So next up, we've got one of my favorite features of all time, text mask. So text masks allow you to change the feel of short blurbs with text with an image, video, or gradient to really grab your viewer's attention. So let me show you how to do it. So I'll quickly add another section. Well, I'm actually gonna change the background color of this section. Boom, so let's go ahead and add our text mask. So I'm gonna hit this plus button, go down to text, and then hit text mask. So you can see there are a ton of options for us to choose from. So I'll go ahead and choose the first one. I'll drag this down here. So this actually looks dope as is. Let's go ahead and preview it real quick. Wow, that's nice, but we're gonna change it up. So I'll go to text and change the font to Wix made for since that's what we're using. Now I'm gonna click change media. And you can select from this library of videos from Wix, but I'm gonna upload one myself. So this is a looped gradient background that I got from Envato Elements, and we're gonna use this as a text mask. I'll hit change background. Boom, so let's preview it. Oh, that's fire. It's kind of subtle as you can see, but it's, it's still dope. So you may be wondering why does it say and design outside the box? So this kind of leads us into the next feature, which is the horizontal scroll. So I'm gonna click animations and effects, scroll, add. So there are a ton of different animations. I don't have time to cover them all right now, but I'm gonna click move, then click adjust animation. So I want this to come from the left. So I'll set this at 270. So let me scroll up, scroll down. So this is how this comes into view. So as I continue to scroll down, it'll make its way into that blue bounding box. But you may be wondering where I'm going with this. Just stick with me, okay? So I'm gonna add text. Oh, see where I'm going with this. So now I'm going to come and add a scroll animation to this. Move, just animation. We're going to have it come from the opposite side, 90 degrees. So now let's preview it. Wow. So of course I'll be adding more to the page so these will fully animate in. I think it looks pretty good so far, but something I'm gonna do really quickly is just make this shade of blue a bit darker. Boom, that looks good to me. All right, next up we've got the custom cursor. This can really enhance the user experience on the site because people are so used to the regular old mouse pointer. But now with Wix Studio, you can customize the cursor and you can even have different cursors for different sections. So now I'll add a section to show you what it looks like. All right, so now I've got this section looking pretty much like how I want it. We have to add the custom cursor. So you wanna make sure that you click on the section, that the section is active. And in the inspector, scroll all the way down till you get to cursor. Click this little toggle and click this plus button. So you can choose any of these vectors from Wix or you can upload your own. So I already had one uploaded. Boom, it's a PNG file, that's in sight. So it'll show you the size so you can increase or decrease the size of it. I think 32 is good, so let's check it out. Boom, there it is. But check this out, being as though I added it just to this section, when I scroll to another section, you see the cursor changes. But as I scroll to this section, it changes into this custom cursor. So you can have different cursors for each section or have the same one, just have to add it. So we'll continue to add to this page and this site as I show you guys more features in Wix Studio in future videos. But let's just take a look at what we did so far. So we added a gradient background here with a transparent video. 
we have the mouse parallax effect in this section we have the horizontal scroll animation and now we have the custom cursor so as you can see wix studio is a lot more open and flexible than the og editor it's an entirely new platform that allows us to create high-end and functional designs that really exceed our clients needs so if you're a freelancer or even an agency you definitely got to give Wix Studio a hard look. So this is just an overview of some of my favorite features, but I'll be diving into some of these in more detail. So make sure you subscribe if you want to check those out. If you want more information on Wix Studio, you can check it out for yourself using the link in the description. They have a really dope This Is Studio video, so I've linked that as well. All right, y'all, that's it for this one. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.